this welder is running right now off a generator. So this is a Generac, yeah, GP8000E. Now, for two years, we've been trying to mobile weld with a generator. And the problem is, every time we go to do it, the, the welder comes up with an error. It doesn't lose power, but you weld for a few seconds and it trips. And you'd shut it off and turn it on again and it's fine for a little while. Very frustrating. I did all kinds of math homework and there is no reason that generator shouldn't run this welder. There's plenty of power there. I was running it at 50%, which is higher than we normally weld at. Uh, probably could take it up to 80% or greater. And what's the difference? Grounding. That's it. That's the only thing I changed. Craptastic welding. When running the welder with a generator, there's one key thing that you must do, and that's grounding. You'll see I have this black, this little black wire running to the frame of the generator. There's a grounding lug in there. Every GP8000 has one. And then there's the generator cord that we normally use for powering up houses. The factory plug from the welder, straight from Harbor Freight, is a three prong. Most everything these days is a four prong. There's no way to ground this, because we have our neutral, our hot, and our hot. That's the only way to power this in 240 volts. The 110 volt cord that comes with this does have a ground, and I imagine it uses some kind of electrical voodoo to do that. There is a fourth uh, ground lug in there. So to get around this, I just took a piece of, this is actually braided um, low volt landscape light wire. I think anything will work. And just put a, a lug on it and grounded it to the frame of the welder. It works perfectly now. I'm really excited about this because we have had, we have about eight mobile welding situations a year and it's been really hard to service that stuff with this thing tripping out all the time. And it's been confusing because we had a lower quality, lower power generator once upon a time. And that dumb thing, it was a, a rigid 6,500 watt and it would run this Lincoln 180 buzz box all day long. 